this is a regular SD card. This SD card will not fit in our, our Fuburinos. Uh, this is an adapter, right? And it, it's got inside of it these micro SD cards, and I'm sure everybody's seen these micro SD cards as well. I hope I hope everybody has. Okay, so from from our perspective, uh, what we've done in this class and what we've talked about and how we how we think about memory in a computer, uh, what an SD card is, uh, it, you ha just have this big chunk of memory that stores bytes, right? So some some value, um, 55A, whatever. And, th and that's all an SD card is. It's, it's non-volatile memory. Um, but this memory range here uh, is going to be like 4 gigabyte. Very large. And th there's, a, there's a little caveat that I gave, but we'll talk about that later. But uh, if you guys have all used SD cards, like you know, you plug it into your computer, into your phone or something, and you don't see a list of, of bytes, right? You see um, files, right? So you see a list of files. And, um, but, you know, at the low level, what's really going on, it's just a bunch of bytes. It just stores a bunch of bytes at addresses. And um, what makes it look like files is a file system. So, so a file system is some fancy software that someone wrote that uh, makes these bytes look like files in directly. The file system that we use on these cards is called FAT, which stands for File Allocation Table. Technically, I think we may actually use FAT32 or something like that. Yeah. I think FAT or FAT32, either one will work. What the FAT file system does is it takes a chunk of the memory of this of this card <clears throat> and it says I'm going to reserve you know some some chunk of this memory and in this chunk of memory what I'm going to store is I'm going to store a file name like uh, readme.txt and I'm going to store the physical uh, memory location who knows what it's going to be uh, one two three four and uh, the size, and some other information like is it read? Is it read only? Um, and uh, there's something called an archive bit, which can be used to track has it been backed up or some different things like this, right? So the file allocation table is just so these are just going to be ASCII characters, and uh, it, maybe this is stored in binary, and the by size might be stored in binary. And all this other stuff is probably stored in binary. And there's there's some other information and I in the file allocation table. But you're gonna in this file allocation table, you'll be able to store so many file names and their location. And then so so let's say your file allocation table is here in memory, and then your actual files are gonna be somewhere down in memory. So maybe this is the readme file. Right? So and then there's another file down here, uh, file one. The good thing is, the, the good news is, from our perspective, is we don't have to know the details of the file system because uh, they're, they've been implemented in the, the core for the chipkit and Arduino uh, libraries. So we could just utilize um, these, these libraries that someone else wrote and be able to, uh, to read files, write files, delete files, get a list of all the files that are on the SD card. Um, so there's other file systems too. There's not just FAT32. There's some other ones, but um, the FAT the FAT file system is what we could utilize on the um, SD cards. The other ones, like you might have heard of uh, NTFS, that stands for uh, Windows NT, like Windows NT NT file system. Uh, this is a Microsoft file system. FAT FAT is also a Microsoft file system. There's some for Linux that are called EXT, and there, there's like two, three, four, there's different versions. Um, and there's other file systems besides these. Uh, but FAT is the one that we could utilize, that we have a library for.